Morphometrics, the measurement of skull and brain anatomy, has been a focus of Chiari research in general for years. However, results have been mixed and significantly limited by the inclusion of small numbers of patients, inconsistent measuring techniques, and not accounting for the gender, age, and BMI of the subjects. As part of the Chiari 1000 project, hundreds of patients have shared their medical history and MRIs with the researchers at the CCRC. This participation, combined with innovative custom software and carefully designed procedures, has enabled the CCRC team to overcome the limitations of many previous morphometric studies. In a careful analysis of over 300 adult women, the team compared 29 different skull and brain features between patients and healthy controls matched for age, ethnicity, and BMI. They found 14 of these were significantly different in the Chiari patients. These differences included a short clivus, which is a bone in the middle of the skull, a wider foramen magnum, which is the opening at the base of the skull, and a smaller posterior fossa height, which is the distance from the foramen magnum to the tentorium, which separates the cerebellum from the rest of the brain. They also found that the entire hindbrain sits lower in the skull for Chiari patients, not just the cerebellar tonsils. This is illustrated by shorter distances from the foramen magnum to the vestigium, which is in the middle of the cerebellum, the pons, which is part of the brainstem, and even all the way up to the corpus callosum, which connects the right and left hemispheres of the brain. As if that isn't enough, Chiari patients also tend to have a flattening of the entire skull base, which results from changes in three cranial angles. These findings have clinical significance in that they may provide a surgeon with more objective quantitative data and also represent important clues as to the underlying causes of Chiari. But the researchers at the CCRC are just getting started on the morphometrics front. They are already hard at work using the adult women data to look at additional measures, such as the size and shape of the cerebellum and the extent of crowding around the brainstem, cerebellum, and tonsils. In the future, they will duplicate this initial analysis for adult men and pediatric patients. And in a very exciting project that is already underway, they are using a new type of MRI to look at the strain and pressure put on the brains of Chiari patients. This work is only possible thanks to the engagement of the Chiari community in both the Chiari 1000 project and the Conquer Chiari Walk Across America. Thanks to your hard work, Conquer Chiari has funded over $3 million in research. Together, we will conquer Chiari. To learn more about Conquer Chiari, the Conquer Chiari Research Center, the Chiari 1000, or Chiari in general, visit www.conquerchiari.org.